step I'm taking. Kindergarten was supposed to mean new friends and ballet for six-year-old Haley Kudrow. So you were feeling fine. You were going to ballet and everything? Uh-huh. And then I wasn't eating good because of my tumor. It filled up my whole belly. Gotta keep my head held high. Instead, she spent the past year enduring toxic treatments for a cancer her family had never even heard of. We didn't really have a choice. It was do this or lose her. Turn them all over. Last year, Haley was diagnosed with neuroblastoma. That's a cancer of the nervous system, and it was the most aggressive form. She had a softball-sized tumor in her belly, choking her liver and her pancreas. Without treatment, it will grow and spread and kill the child within a matter of months. I took a bath in hot water, it burned. And did you make a fuss or were you brave? I made a fuss. <laughs> Haley had the standard treatment, okay. including chemotherapy, major surgery, radiation. But she's also receiving a drug treatment called immunotherapy. It's designed to rev up her own immune system to kill the cancer. Take a look at the neuroblastoma cells. This is what an aggressive cancer looks like under the microscope. And this is the immunotherapy drug. It not only stimulates a child's own immune system, it helps attack those tumor cells. A new study of 226 high-risk patients like Haley found adding the immunotherapy to standard therapy improved the survival rates by 20%. It was so effective, the trial was stopped early. How often do you get to say in the world of cancer research, wow, we actually figured out something that works, maybe even cures? So this is one of those moments where we have proven that a therapy really makes a major difference. I don't like needles. I don't think many people like needles. Do you? No. Haley is back in first grade, and doctors believe her tumor is gone. Thanks to immunotherapy, it may not be coming back. How much longer do you have to get the medicines? Mm, my wine will be taken out before Christmas. Well, Haley's expected to do very well uh, from this, and uh, it's important to point out, needles really do hurt, as she pointed out. Uh, it's expensive treatment. It costs as much as $40,000. Its side effects, though, are relatively mild compared to what she went through, just severe flu symptoms, Katie, uh, once a month during the treatment. Well, this is very exciting for these young cancer patients. Do you think we're going to see more situations, Sanjay, where immunotherapy is added to traditional therapies in a whole variety of cancers? I, I think so. We're, we're seeing it already in some cases, breast cancer, melanoma, kidney cancer, for example. You know what, what, I, what I was struck by is that you give chemotherapy, you give radiation, you've really suppressed the immune system, but you need it for immunotherapy to work. So here, they boost up the immune system, they give the immunotherapy simultaneously, that's what makes it so much more effective. Well, it really is exciting. Sanjay Gupta, thanks so much, thanks, Sanjay. Katie.